Hormone replacement therapy is becoming very popular and very common uh, practice amongst doctors in the appropriate fields of medicine. Um, as we get older, our friendly hormones such as progesterone, testosterone, estrogen um, can decrease, which affects our quality of life. Estrogen deficiency, we get hot flashes and night sweats. Guess what, we're not gonna sleep as well. It affects our mood. Progesterone decreases anxiety, uh, makes us more calm, promotes the deeper sleep. Uh, testosterone is our get up and go hormone. It increases stamina, improves memory. Um, so we would like these hormones to be in abundance as we get older. We can keep up with our youthful friends. We can continue to exercise on a regular basis, have good relationships. We're working. We're still in the working. We're still in our professions at age 65 and beyond. We, we need to have our energy and our mood stabilization. And so hormone replacement therapy is appropriate as we get older and justified. The proper tests, blood tests, uh, urine tests can confirm the symptoms that um, the patient will have. Now, naturopathic doctors, we prescribe bioidentical hormones only. We do not prescribe any synthetics. And um, naturopath or bioidentical hormones carry way less risk for cancer than the synthetics and minimize the side effects from hormones. Today, I'm namely gonna talk about um, estrogen. Estrogen comes with more side effects um, problems metabolizing it can cause weight gain around the middle. It carries a risk for cancer. Bioidentical, not very little risk. Oral, more risk. Synthetic, big risk. And so as a naturopathic physician, I choose bioidentical creams um, as my first uh, therapy for, for estrogen replacement therapy. After that, I may um, do pellet therapy. Pellet therapy is also becoming more popular. It uh, provides a physiological rate of hormones uh, for three or four months until you get your insertion again. Again, this is bioidentical, so it carries very little risk, and it's not oral. So anything that's not oral, so it can be uh, vaginal, it can be pellet, and it can be transdermal. Those are the three optimal ways to receive estrogen to minimize the side effects because you're avoiding the digestive system. However, I am speaking to side effects today because especially with pellet therapy, maybe some creams too, can come with some side effects such as the weight gain around the middle and fluid retention. And working on the liver is the main way that you can decrease the side effects of estrogen. There are certain vitamins that are needed to metabolize estrogen. The main one is B6. Take this isolated in pharmaceutical doses, you can really affect the water retention for sure. Um, patients will use it for menstrual cramps. It's immediate, it's like an Advil. That's how powerful it is on estrogen metabolism. Having the proper balance of friendly bacteria in your colon also has, assists in metabolism of estrogen. Those friendly bacteria is the last step that estrogen takes out of the body. Liver functioning. There are teas that you can drink every single day. I'm a big proponent of empowering the patient to do something in their home every single day versus you know, a big cleanse twice a year. That's great, it, we can do it. However, there's the rest of the days of the year that we're still accumulating toxins, taking the hormones. And so I like the patient to be empowered in ways that they can do this every single day. B6, drinking the teas. If we wanna do some catch up, um, if they've been taking hormones for a while and they come to my office, glutathione is more assertive on the liver. And you can even do glutathione IV push, which is a very big detox that you can do a couple times a year just to get things moving. Uh, oral glutathione is available. The trouble is it's hard to find one that's bioavailable to the body because it has to, it's very difficult to get through the digestive system intact. So unfortunately, people's consumers will spend a lot of money at, on the supplement and you just never know. It's kind of like CoQ10. You never know if you're getting any of it. So obviously the IV push bypasses the digestive system and you know you're getting it. So those are some ways that you can assist in estrogen metabolism, thereby decreasing cancer risk from the metabolites of estrogen that are harmful and decreasing the side effects of estrogen.